Funding is provided by New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District. Funding is provided by Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who have spent a lifetime caring for others, located on 26 Cass Street in Westfield, New York. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. From the Chuck Kelsey Television Studio of Access Channel 5 in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Join us live Saturday mornings between 9 and 10 a.m. in Fredonia, Mayville, and Silver Creek. Call in and share a thought or wish someone a happy birthday with Chautauqua County's only on-air senior program. Reed continues in 2010 with another year of interesting guests expressing their viewpoints and informing the community on a variety of subjects. And now, here's Reed Powers. Good morning. As you can tell, Reed is not here. I'm John Hamels. I'll be your host this morning and welcome to the Senior Report, another edition on this great March Saturday morning. I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you've gotten through the flu season and the cold season. I, I barely did. I, uh, I got hit hard this year, so uh, I had to get to the doctor. And I hope if any of you are, are, uh, have those big egos and say, I can handle this, you might not be able to. I know I had to give it up and finally get to the doctor. So take care of yourselves out there. Okay, as you all know, the Senior Report is a call-in live show. We've got a, a, a great guest here this morning, Leighton Swanson, who will be joining us in a little while. we got the geezer coming in. we got some announcements uh, that usually come through. But if you have something you want to talk about, you have a question for me or our guest, uh, it's a live uh, uh, show. The number is right here. I like to do in this. 753-5225 or 753-JACK. And we'd be uh, happy to hear, hear from you or uh, if you just have a comment on whatever is going on in the world today. I just made a whole bunch of things like I usually do just to kind of tell you what's going on in the world around me anyways, and maybe it'll affect your lives. Hey, you know, we've been hearing all these commercials and uh, great advertisements on the, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the U.S. Census, and uh, they're just beating us on the sh head and shoulders to get this in. But, you know, this is really important, and I do want to encourage all of us to, to fill out the census report because this drives money to our own towns and our villages, our schools and so forth. They use this figure for about the next 10 years, I believe, until the next census to determine how much federal money will go to different areas. So get those forms filled out, it's important. Um, just a few things that are coming up in our area, I know, is if you're a coin collector, as uh, some of you know that I am, um, March 28th, the uh, Pennsylvania, New York, they call it the Penny Show, uh, it will be at the Celeron Legion. It's the 11th annual, and I believe the hours are from 10 to 3. It's free to get in. You're going to have about 30 different uh, coin dealers there and vendors uh, answer your questions about coins and so forth. So that's March 28th at the Celeron Legion. Hey, if you've been driving by the Hughes Center lately, you've been probably seeing some real uh, heavy-duty activity going on. The Safety Village, a children's, or Chautauqua Children's Safety Education Village, it's a really long name, I just shortened down to the Safety Village, it's going great guns. They're building the classroom building now and they're putting together an advisory committee about the curriculum and uh, they're ready to open the doors this fall for children probably about pre-K through about fifth grade. They're going to be working on safety, uh, pedestrian safety, bike safety, traffic safety, fire, water, and so on. It's gonna be a great project. And the reason why I mention this, because you, if you're listening right now, or you know somebody that's interested, um, Terry Kinberg, the coordinator, is looking for folks 
that potentially could be instructors or teachers uh, for the children and it's going to be a part-time kind of a situation right now but if you're interested uh, you can google the Ch uh, Chautauqua Children's Safety Education Village on, on the internet and it'll come up with a phone number and so forth as you know we uh, had Terry and, and, and another guest here a few months ago about it and it's really taking off so if you know anybody that's interested uh, likes working with children that's a great opportunity uh, for you to, to look into okay since the last time uh, I was here I've uh, been pulled out of service uh, out of retirement and back into service I think it's the other way around sometimes but I'm happy to say hello to everybody back at Ripley Central School a lot of times the kids will come up to me and say I just saw you on TV or they can't figure out how I could be at the school and on TV at the same time um, but I want to say hello and uh, things are doing very well at Ripley they got a lot of nice projects going on and also I want to say hi to all of my friends back at Westfield I uh, had a great uh, time there last year and I know I keep running into folks back there so it was like a second home to me at Westfield and of course at Ripley. Um, some uh, events that are coming up for our area in case uh, you missed it in the newspaper this week. Uh, the Harmony Senior Citizens will be meeting this uh, the first Thursday of the month and, and that will be at the pa Panama United Methodist Church. Let's see what else we got here that's more local. Mayville Senior Citizens meet at noon, uh, the first and third Thursdays in Mayville at the VFW. Those attending should take a dish to pass and table service. All residents 55 or older are welcome. Um, the North Harmony Senior Citizens regular monthly meeting is scheduled at 6 p.m. the third Monday. The monthly so movie... Krista, make sure you Whoa, what was that? <laughs> the monthly uh, movie and lunch is uh, at noon, the second Monday of the month. That sounds like fun. Both events are in the clubhouse in Stowe. And then back home where I'm at, Ripley uh, Senior Citizens meet at noon, the third Friday of each month for a Turin lunch in the Baptist Church Fellowship Room. It's a great facility there. So a lot of things going on for uh, folks 55 on up. You know, a lot of folks, uh, they, they retire and they just sort of like disappear. They go into their homes, they spend all day watching TV, whatever. And I, I would caution to be careful on that. Get out and join some of these groups. Uh, see some of your old friends. Uh, see what's going on in the world. Uh, get your mind stimulated and, and pick up a hobby or two. And a lot of these organizations will help you do that. Retirement doesn't have to be a time where we just melt into the into the uh, wallpaper, but it's a time that we can really do some fun things. And speaking of fun things, my voice is a little gravelly this morning, and I apologize sort of for that, but I kind of earned it in a good way in that um, in my retirement years, I've gone back to one of my uh, favorite uh, pastimes, and that's music. Uh, this past summer, a friend of mine down in uh, North Carolina that I've played music with for over 40 years has pestered me to get back into the music scene by playing something called an open mic. And I had never done this before, being a, a band leader in uh, rock and country and that sort of thing. And so this was different. It's more acoustical. You, you go out there and you sort of like a, the old coffee house kind of a feel to it. And uh, I. Uh, started playing some songs and one thing led to another and, and another and another and what I want to tell you about is uh, last night at uh, Sapor over in Westfield they host an open mic from time to time and what a great night we had. Um, if any of you know these people I'll mention them by name. Roger Shagnon Jr. came out and did some great tunes, some more modern almost kind of uh, Caribbean sounding tunes, sort of a Jimmy Buffett sound and he was doing some uh, John Fogarty and that sort of thing. Great guy. Uh, he's a music teacher at Westfield, and uh, we had fun. I got I get to MC this uh, this the open mic, so I'm I'm sort of emceeing this morning. Last night I was emceeing over there. Uh, Dan O'Connell. If you don't know Dan, what an interesting musician. He is so well connected throughout the world, in, in the nation, and regionally. And I really enjoy Dan's music. He's a he's an original songwriter and performer. And uh, Dan just put together a CD, and uh, he tells me that for ten dollars, if you're interested, get a, uh, get a hold of him in Westfield, and he's uh, collecting money uh, to be used for work with autism. So a good cause. And Dan O'Connell, interesting musician, um, check it out. Um, from Jamestown last night, John Marino uh, came out. I don't know if you know John. He's the CEO of the Gubby Foundation, and he was doing some of his original music and some of his. Uh, uh, old tunes that he had picked up over the years 
like uh, Woody Guthrie and uh, Dylan and so forth. So uh, that was a fine presentation. We had a, uh, two newcomers, a duo, uh, Chris and Lizzie, that was their, their stage name. They did a song by Neil Diamond, one of the chicks, uh, yeah, Dixie Chicks, say that fast. Uh, and they did a great job, and we encourage young folks, old 